Hi, I'm Daisy, and this is my best friend, Dawn. Hi, how you doing? I like to run and exercise a lot. And I like to ride my bike. So I asked Dawn to buy us a bike leash. Yeah, and we did look at a few bike leashes, and when we priced them, we just decided to build our own. Not to mention, they weren't very pretty either. Well, that's true. So when we started designing one, we decided it needed to be made out of readily available materials, and we wanted it to be at least as functional as the other bike leashes on the market, and it turned out to be even more functional. And it had to be pretty, like me. Well, that's right. That's so we decided to make it out of wood and hand stain it to a beautiful finish. So. And pretty, wood, like me. Well, that's right, that's right. So, so we decided to name it the Daisy Stick. I like that. Don't you? Okay, Don, show everyone how it works. Okay, Daisy. Well, now, everybody knows that the, what the purpose of a bike leash is so you can exercise your dog while riding your bike. But the main function of a bike leash is to keep your dog's leash away from the moving parts of your bicycle. Don, tell them what else the Daisy Stick does. Okay, Daisy, I'll just about to. Now, the other bike leashes are mounted in a fixed position. Yeah, so I'm stuck in one spot. Show them how the daisy stick moves, Don. Okay. Well, see, the daisy stick swings back and forth like this so that you can go on either side of the bicycle that was... or you can ride right in behind it, see? That was my idea. Isn't that cool? That's cool because this ability allows you and me to ride through a whole lot tighter spaces when we're riding down the street. And this little cord right here? Show them how that works, Don. This one right here? Okay, what that does is keeps you from pulling the daisy stick too far around. It stops it at a 90 degree angle with the seat. And all of this is made possible by this floating action right here on the daisy stick that, I, I mean, that you designed. True, but I did need you to tie the knots. Well, now that brings us to the rest of the daisy stick material. Everything else is made out of either soft nylon rope, standard bungee cord, there's an S-clip here, and a snap here. Show them what the snap does, Don. Oh, yeah, the snap. Well, the snap allows you to detach the leash altogether from the daisy stick so that when you get to where you want to go... I have a pretty leash. That's cool. Well, Daisy, you want to show, take them for a demonstration ride and show them how it works? Oh, boy! Let's go! All right. Okay, this brings us to about the only part of the daisy stick installation that you actually have to make any adjustments to. And that is the actual length of the leash, okay? And the way you adjust it, look here, Daisy, help me out here, okay? The way you adjust it is you pull the daisy stick all the way around and then bring your pet up even with your front axle. You don't want your doggy to be beyond that, okay? Now, Daisy's leash is a little bit longer because we've been doing this a while and we're pretty comfortable with it. But it's best to keep it short at first. And that also uh, leads us to the only tools you're going to need for installing your daisy stick, and that's your fingers, because you will have to tie a knot. Don, are you finished talking now? Well, I guess so. Are you ready to go? Well, let's go then. All right, Daisy. Okay, Daisy, you ready to go? All right, let's go. Okay, well, we hope you've enjoyed our little demonstration of the daisy stick. It's brought us many, many hours of enjoyment together. It sure has, Don, and it's pretty, too, like me. Well, so, for more information on how to order your daisy stick, go to www. Go to www.hillcountrydepot.com. That's right, Daisy. And click on the pretty doggy. I'm easy to spot, so to speak. Thanks a lot.